nodded, nearly napping. Suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To someone I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. How distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow. Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger. Hesitating then no longer, sir, said I, or madam, truly, your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is, I was not. And so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here, I opened wide the door. Darkness. Nothing more.
You know what? I think I found what you're looking for. A little something that should enable you to cast your evil web over another victim. Well, they don't call me Cersei for nothing. What is it? Right. I was surfing the net, yeah? I came across this site that has your name written all over it. Murder, mystery, death, gore. I mean, it, plenty of blood. Now, if that doesn't make your little panties hot for you, then nothing's gonna. Sounds good. Tell me more. Right. Let me see. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. The place is called Harrow Woods, New England. Got it? Now, two years ago, October, a Pope writer by the name of George Carney took his family to their holiday cabin for a little vacation, you know, whatever. Um, Carney's brother, Vincent. Vincent. Vincent came along. Now, they wouldn't be back three days later. Well, what happened? Nothing. What? They disappeared. Murdered? No, nothing. Vanished from the face of the earth as if they'd never existed. Until this day, not been seen. Ladies and gentlemen. Does he mean us? Well, he said ladies, so I guess that means you. If I might have your attention for just one second. This is the third year that our little club has been running. I want to say a big thank you to everyone for supporting the events and birthday weekends that have been arranged. So, without further hesitation... Get on with it! All right. Today's Anna's birthday party. Unlike other celebrations before them, it's her turn to enjoy what's now become known as the Internet's birthday weekend. And as Anna's into the paranormal, I've chosen a very special weekend just for her. Ooh! <laughs> okay! All right, all right. Quiet and down, you lot. So, where are we going? Harrow Woods. Where? One more time, just for Steve. Harrow Woods! And what is so special about Harrow Woods? Maybe nothing. I'll leave you to find out. I need to remind you that the uh, investigation will be broadcast on our very own website, so no more pranks. Rachel? <laughs> I got a lot of emails about that last time. <laughs> From admirers, which is something you wouldn't know anything about. Yeah. I bet I know who sent most of them. Don't we, Gary? And Gary's once again offered to uh, man the website. He's done a marvellous job so far. Thank you, Gary. And James will be operating the webcams and the visual mix at the investigation site. So, over to Gary. Right. Now, this could be a very, very special event. I want you to study your packs carefully. You may find something unique. You, you, may, you may learn a lot. I mean, you may learn nothing. <laughs> so, we've become guinea pigs for your experiment in the creepy world of Gary and Carl. I told you before, Lewis, the paranormal is not only the key to the future, but a way of understanding our past. I mean, man, come on, a form of religion you can grasp in both your hands. Bullshit. You might be able to fool these guys with your paranormal crap, but not me. Um, all right. I mean, the body admits a form of energy that is invisible to the human eye. This energy can be expanded far beyond the confines of the human body in any way, be it chemical, mechanical, or physical. Well, if any gorgeous women log on asking for my name, you know where to send them. Yeah, to a psychiatrist. <laughs> we should have a test. Why don't we have a test here and now, yeah? What do you suggest? A seance. Seance? Sounds good to me. Anna, what do you say? Want to try and get in contact with the other side? Must I? Why not? Can you see dead people? Be quiet. <laughs> We're trying to conduct a serious experiment. 
Okay, full contacts maintained and registering. Temperature steady at 73.1 degrees. Dynamo monitor reading decreasing to 1822. Temperature lowering. Pulse rate 93.4. Pressurometer negative. Rate of breathing. Fifty over sixty rises. Carl, for Christ's sake, stop it! Carl. Fucking funny, Rach. You just wait till we get right into the woods. What? You mean we're not camping here? Only for tonight. Okay, you guys. Let's have a little order. What are we gonna eat? I'm starving. Steve will be along in a few hours with the Winnebago. So, let's get ourselves sorted out. James, you find somewhere warm to set up for the night before we head for the cabin tomorrow. Okay. Inside you'll find a map. Directions. And a guide to the legends of Harrow Wood. And I bet that's all they'll be. Well, there might not be a shred of truth in any of them. Told you. It's going to be another wild goose chase like last year's fiasco. Devil cat, my ass. Well, that's one place we didn't look, did we, Lewis? <laughs> anyway, we treat each investigation the same. Expect nothing, be prepared for everything. Expect nothing, get an extremely bad cold, and that's about it. Anyway, Rachel had the best weekend. If you call a weekend in traction good. Well, it was for us. At least we didn't have to listen to your mouth all day. Cut huh. it out, Lewis. So, what exactly are we looking for? It's all in the file, James. If I tell you, there'll be no surprises. So, there is going to be a surprise, then. Okay, so what is the truth behind the legend, Carl? Don't tell me it's another witch hunt or vampire bat myth, please. Not this time. So, tell us more. Well, where shall I start? Don't fuck around, Mathers. Just get on with it. Back in 1843, in the month of October, the maiden Lenore was arrested for the crime of being a witch. As she was being tied to the stake, she screamed a curse against the people who'd found her guilty and the land they called Harrow Wood. Since that date, many murders have been committed on the site of the death of that maiden, the witch Lenore. 
Two years ago, these very woods, a family disappeared. What's unusual about that? I mean, the Mafia get rid of their people all the time. This ain't no gangster story, Lewis. This is a story of a quiet family that came out here on October the 21st for a quiet weekend. Never came back alive. Well, that's today's date, isn't it? That's correct. Is this some cheap trick? Well, you lot keep complaining about bogus witch hunts. So, now we're gonna go on a real murder trail. Were the bodies found? Yes. No, they weren't. Trust me, they weren't. They weren't, Carl. That's correct. How did you know? She got it from the folders you handed out. That information wasn't in your folders, only mine. I don't know. I just... <gasps> Coffee's on. Toast too, if you want some. I'm not wearing your wife's stuff. Besides, it's far too old for me anyway. Tuesday, so don't worry. A full whole day is going to get back. I would have preferred being alone with you instead of sharing the little bit of time we had left together. What about your surprise birthday trip to the group? I almost don't want to go now. Ah, don't be silly. You'll enjoy it. Anyway, I spent a long time setting this one up for you. So you better enjoy it. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance, maybe, not a minute stopped or steady, but with mien of lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace, just above my chamber door, perched and sat, nothing more. about this weekend. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I uh, may need a little help scratching it, though. <laughs> that all you ever think about? Pretty much, yeah. You can be a real jerk when you want to be. So I've been told. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's just scarecrow, numb nuts. Nothing to get worried about. Could be a giant voodoo doll. Yeah, so could you. <laughs> oh, thanks. So we got headless ladies, hop goblins, and all the demons of the night. Now we got a scarecrow to worry about. You don't believe all this crap, do you? Oh, lighten up, Steve. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a waste of time, that's all. You don't have to be here, you know. Oh, yeah. And leave you alone here with this lot. You'd be drunk with your tongue down someone's throat in hours. Thank you. I don't do that. So don't tar me with your brush. Yeah, 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 okay, point taken, come on. <laughs> it's a voodoo doll. Voodoo doll. <laughs> voodoo doll. What the fuck are you listening to? Your trouble is you just don't enjoy good music. Don't you mean dead music? At least these guys can play, unlike the rubbish you listen to. Everything okay, fellas? Does anybody really believe this crap? Anna does. She laps up that mystic psycho battle. Don't she, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, James. Touchy, ain't he? What about you? 
I like to keep an open mind. Well, don't leave it too open, otherwise your brain will fall out. So, how long has Anna been banging Carl anyway? She's what? You didn't know? Does his wife know? I doubt it. Anna's just one in a long line of students he's had. He switches every year. The dirty old perv. Fuck. The guy's like a rat up a drain pipe. He's only just stopped seeing that girl in Stamford. Jackie, I think her name was. He'd screw a rattlesnake if it stood still long enough. And you wouldn't? I don't get the chance. <laughs> Another thing, these woods don't look very haunted to me. Oh, you don't look like a loudmouth idiot, Lewis, but I've been known to be wrong. Funny. Who are you calling? No one special. Better not be. Maybe it's his wife. Okay, let's go. We'll bump into them on the way. Come on, James, get your fat butt out of there. We're leaving. Let's leave the lovebirds to it. You look like you're expecting someone. When? Back at the Winnie Bago. Anna, can you keep a secret? I'm already keeping a secret. I think one's enough, don't you? Much I marvel this ungainly foul to hear discourse so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore, for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculpted bust upon his chamber door, with such a name as nevermore. But the raven, sitting lonely on the pallet bust, spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did out poor. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. Hey. Ah. Oh, well. Looks, looks normal enough to me. So did Bates Motel. Look at that from there. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be covered in blood or something. Oh, come on, Rach. It's just a pile of crap, I told you. Carl's playing with us again. Oh, Rach. Go on, get in. Go <laughs> no. on, I'll bring up the threshold. Oh. Come on, baby. Look, Carl's been here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, it's just a practical joke, that's all. Don't take it hard.
So, Rachel, who are you casting a spell on now? You don't cast spells with tarot cards, but if you did, I'd change you into a frog. Okay, so what are the cards saying? Uh, am I going to meet a tall, dark stranger with plenty of money? Your problem is that you don't take anything connected with the paranormal seriously, do you? And you've been hanging around Carl and Gary too much. I got you believing in all sorts of rubbish. So, tell us more. You can't tell me you believe all this shit Carl's been spouting about. Murders in the log cabin and dead bodies around the woods, can you? I mean, he's got Anna so wound up, she's seeing things. Oh, sorry, should I say visions? Well, look pretty real to me. Oh, yeah. He invites us around for a few drinks, gets Gary to lay the bait, and then you fall for it just like the rest of them. You didn't want to come on this weekend. Why did you? Oh, uh, and miss the chance to see you and your friends making fools of yourselves. <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're a jerk. You know that, Steve. Yeah. But you still love me, eh, babe? Mm. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Place the cameras around the woods. Oh, you want some help? Why, right from you. <laughs> okay. I know when I'm not wanted. So, guys, who's uh, staying in the cabin tonight? <laughs> What you doing? You coming out? Why don't you come and talk to us? I don't know. I just can't. Well, if you hear from me, let me know. Who is it? Who is it? I said, who is it? What's going on? I thought I heard something. What's happening? There. I can't see anything. No. There it is. What the hell is oh, it? Another wild goose chase. Dr. Mathers. How on earth did you find us? Well, you did invite me, didn't you? I'm so glad you could make it. When I didn't hear from you, I thought you might not be coming. I almost didn't, Dr. Mathers. You can call me Carl. All my friends do. Think I'm gonna throw up. You've had no idea how much trouble I've had getting here. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Hmm. This is Victoria Jordan. She's a medium. Remind me of any time. Pleased to meet you all. Hmm. Ooh, you're not happy. I uh, know. Uh, he's dopey. I'm happy in this here is Snow White. <laughs> Lewis. You have a headache. Come and see me later. Perhaps I can help. So how did you find us? I'm psychic, remember? <laughs> You can feel it too. Hi, I'm Stephen. Steve, hi, hi, I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Steve, and... Okay. Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, and I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, is Nana supposed to be doing this? It is her weekend, after all. Okay. Now, it's a good job this isn't going out for real. I'd look a real dick. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It's me again. Hi. I'm Steve. 
Not really a believer in the paranormal. I don't disbelieve it. I don't believe it either. I mean, I've never seen a ghost or anything, but, uh... Oh, shit. What's gone wrong now? Okay, that's it. I'm gonna get some food. Are you having an affair with her, too? I haven't even met her before today. Then why is she here? Well, Richard from the university recommended her. She's an experienced medium, and I want to try a little experiment. She's a psychometrist. She picks up psychic vibrations by touch. And? And somewhere in the middle of this forest is the resting place of George Carney and his family. And I want to find it. So this is my birthday present. A threesome. Well, thank you, Carl. No, don't be ridiculous. So tell me, why didn't you mention another psychic? Who's there? Sounds to me like there's a lot of things he doesn't mention to you. Have you been spying on us? What's the spy on? You got something you want to hide? Lewis, I'd appreciate if you didn't mention any of this to the others. I don't want them tipping Victoria off about the history of the wood. Well, who'd do that? Any of you, if you thought it might make a good enough joke. And this resting place you mentioned? Yes, yes, that. Because if she wanted to do a little research of her own, she might be tempted to repeat some of it during one of those phony trances. Don't fall for that one, Anna. He's just interested in getting this Victoria woman in the sack. That's all. You're wrong. Yeah, I bet I am. Just keep it to yourself. Won't breathe a word of it, Doc. But you better keep an eye on Steve. I think he's taking a shine to your little vamp. Now there's an energy field right around the cabin. And it's a ley line. Oh, frankly, I have no idea what it is. weekend. So, what will it entail? Well, we're going to take you on a journey of a lifetime. So, if you'd like to be frightened, and I know you do, stay logged on. That's my birthday present to myself. Gorgeous. Mm. Do ghosts exist? Can we talk to the dead? Join us tonight at midnight, the witching hour, for live psychic experiments from Harrow Wood. <laughs> Who's that? That's our psychic for the evening, Victoria Jordan. <laughs> she finally showed, huh? Yeah, you didn't tell anyone about it, did you? <laughs> of course not. I mean, why, why? Did someone say something, or...? No, just try to keep her involved in a secret for as long as possible, that's all. Well, otherwise, the experiment won't be worth a candle. Well, I haven't got a photograph of her for the website. Well, maybe you can grab a still frame and use that. Perfect. Oh, camera's working, so I guess we're set. Call me when you're ready. I'll be back just before 12. And... Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. That's a place for you. Uh, let me see. Hi, 
feisty. Oh. <laughs> you gave me a heart attack. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, just helping James place the rest of these cameras around the woods. How's your headache? Oh, it's, it's, it's better. Thanks. Good. Where's your girlfriend? What, Rachel? Oh, uh, she's, um, she's back at the cabin. Does she often leave you on your own? <laughs> uh, no, no, not often. Wow! Where can I get hold of one of those? Oh, a transmitter? No. Camera, silly. Oh. What do you want a camera for? To keep a video diary. Maybe you can be on it. Why? Well, you never know what's going to happen in the next few days. <clears throat> you'd, um... You'd, you'd have to ask Carl. Oh. No, Carl, I'm not up to it yet. We've got to do it sometime. I can do the seance if you want me to. No, it's okay. I'll do it. This, I sat engaged in guessing. But no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight glowed it wore. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er she shall press on evermore. Then the thought the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee. By these angels he hath sent thee respite. Respite and nepenthe from the memories of Lenore Quaff. O Quaff, this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore, both the raven. Nevermore. Come to Danny. Carl, are you there? Yeah, we got action. People are logging on in thousands. When's the first activity? Setting up, then going to the cabin. Nana's already dancing from the gym. Of course she is. Welcome to the Internet's Birthday Club's fourth annual investigation and our second live webcast. This year we're in Harrow Wood, the most haunted forest in New England. Two years ago, in these very woods, the novelist George Carney and his family went missing, never to be seen again. With me this weekend are Rachel, Lewis, James, Steve, Victoria, and of course our birthday girl, Anna. And if any of you have been watching our previous investigations, you'll know we conduct these inquiries on the same date as one of our very own group's birthdays. And this weekend is no other than Anna's. So, let's wish her a happy birthday, shall we? So, back to events at Harrow Wood. Was it murder? Abduction? Where did the Carney family disappear to? Let's start the evening with a bang. We have a guest, psychic and medium, Victoria Jordan. Where'd she go? She was here a minute ago. So what happened to our psyche? I don't know, Gary, just hold on. Well, she said she wanted to take a look around. Commune with the spirits or something. I think she went that way. Do you think you can look for her? I'll go with him. No, thanks. I remember the last time. Suit yourself. 
You'll be back as quick as you can. I've got something to tell you all. Victoria, too. Victoria! Victoria! Rachel? Rachel? If that's you, it's not funny. This is not fucking funny. Not sure you look your best. Would you like to see? Where'd you get the camera? Carl gave it to me. I came looking for you. And now you found me. Let's try again. Smile. We should get back. You've missed the first broadcast. Why don't you smile? swung by seraphim, whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee respite, respite and nepenthe from the memories of Lenore Quaff, O Quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Said I thing of evil, prophet still a bird or devil, with a tempter sent or with a tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate, yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted. Tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore.
that's still a bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, quoth the raven. Nevermore. <laughs> careful about that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty hot. Oh, those water taps, you know, they've never worked properly before, ever. Well, you know that, don't you? This is the first time I've been here. First time? You're the manager, aren't you? No. I've never been here before. Well, I find that hard to believe. Oh, cool. hey, oh, hey, cool. oh, hey. <laughs> isn't she beautiful? Who? Your friend. That's my wife. It's not. It is. Well, who's that bloke with her then? That, that's my brother. Oh, I see. So it's your brother's girlfriend, eh? No, 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 no. It's my wife. Oh, you're kidding. Well, I should know. Well, I tell you what, though. The corner. They'd make a wonderful couple, wouldn't they? What are you trying to say? Say what? Yes, say. I'm not trying to say anything, nothing at all. Uh, what do you know? I know what? Yes, no. What? I know what. I call you. You treated me like a oh, well, look, look, I, I, I wanted. Well, I've had an idea. You see, I want to do something that I thought about myself, and I think they'd make a wonderful couple. They really would, eh? You need to be careful of that, sir. Pretty, uh, pretty hard. These taps have never worked properly. But of course, you know that. This is the first time I've been here. But surely you're the manager. No, no. I've never been here before. 
I think you're wrong, sir. But... She's beautiful, isn't she? Who? Your, uh, friend. No. That's my wife. Surely not. It is. But the gentleman there with her... That's my brother. And that's his wife? No, no, no. That's my wife. Are you sure? I think I should know. Nothing, I'm sure. What do you know? No. Yes. No. <laughs> I think you must have me wrong. I just surmised what a wonderful couple they would make. Johnny no. He can't even make claim to his kids without me. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping. Suddenly, there came a tapping. So what do you two want to do when we get down to the cabin? Rapping Tell them we're going fishing, eh, Stevie? How about you? I haven't really thought about it. Well, how about a spot of hunting? Maybe kill a few deers. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Oh, no. <laughs> you there, George? Just like you as a kid. Once a Bambi lover, always a Bambi lover. You couldn't kill a thing either. It's a good thing you ain't there for me, sweetheart. Eagerly, I wish the morrow. Vainly. That's right, George. Sorrow for my book's surcease of sorrow. Sorrow for the lost Lenore. For the rare and brilliant maiden in the angel's name Lenore. Steve? Have you seen Anna in the last two hours? She's not with you? No, I haven't seen her since she went to the log cabin to prepare for the seance. I have no idea. Wake up! 
All right. What's this? Here, Carl. Here. What? The secret to what you've been looking for. Some hokey pokey like the past. This time it's real. This, I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This, and more, I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er she shall press on evermore. It's, uh, it's pretty hot. These taps have never worked properly, but of course you know that. No, I've never been here before. But surely you're the manager. No, no, this, this is the first time I've been here. I think you're wrong, sir. Quite beautiful, isn't she? Who? Your friend. My friend? Or is it your wife? No. That's my... That's my wife. But the gentleman, now with you. That's outside. That's my wife. And that's his wife? No, no, no. That's my wife. Are you sure, sir? I think I should know. Well, they make a wonderful couple. 
What are you trying to say? Say, sir? <coughs> yes, say. Nothing, I'm sure. What you know? No, sir. Yes, no. You must have me wrong, sir. I just surmise what a wonderful couple they make. A drink? Then we thought the air grew denser. Perfume from an unseen sensor swung by seraphim, whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee. By these angels he hath sent thee respite. Respite and compete thee from the memories of Lenore Quaff. For quaff this kind of nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore, quoth the raven. Nevermore. <laughs> Prophet, said I, thing of evil, Prophet, still a bird or devil. With a tempter sent, or with a tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate, yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me, truly I implore, is there, is there balm in Gideon? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Problem with the handle, sir? A little stiff or just locked? I'm looking for. I believe the people that you seek are gone. Where? Don't you know? Would they be asking? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I would have thought that the question would have been why, not where. Oh. Love is blind. <laughs> if love is like a lightning bolt. <laughs> then... <laughs> then betrayal... Betrayal... is like a thunderstorm! Sitting still is sitting on the pallet must the palace just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul, from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted. Nevermore. You look beautiful tonight. But like the four like seasons. Four seasons. Love, love, love changes, changes. Be, it be it summer, summer autumn, autumn, spring, spring and of course, winter, winter the, coldest the coldest time of the year. Of the year. And like, and like winter, winter, love grows, love grows cold. cold.
Come with us, please. I can't. There is nothing to keep you here. I can't explain. Okay. Okay, who's got the keys to the Winnebago? Steve. Well, you mean there's only one set of keys? Well, Carl might have another. We'll have to go back to the camp. What's our option? We could hitchhike. Oh, yeah. Rachel? 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 Yeah. Hey, it's Gary. He's got pictures from base camp. What can you see? What do you mean you thought it was a setup? People might be dying here and you're worried about logging on statistics? Asshole! To make matters worse, it's fucking raining! What about Carl and Anna? We've got to help them. Anna! Anna!
gentlemen, let me introduce to you my little sister. But of course, Vincent, you already know her. We never did like you, but that was our secret. That's right, it's me. <gasps> What's wrong, sweetheart? You know we've got a busy weekend starting from today. It's the group's weekend. You know that.